Let's do this, okay? We're getting back into more Yusuke. Let's go. Let's go. Hello everybody, I'm Karara and today we are going to be doing problem 1 of the Yuzuko 2019 December Contest Silver MUBA. Wait, what? I said that right, right? But basically, we've literally done all of the 2020 silver problems except this guy. So, we'll get this guy out of the way and then we are done with 2020 silver. Maybe I'll try some of the other problems. I'll try to get through bronze too, because I think you guys are like bronze, silver, that kind of thing. That's what's going to help you guys the most. So, let me know what problems you guys want, but... We're basically done with the silver ones for 2020. Like, one of you guys asked me to do, like, BIO, which is, like, British Informatics Olympiad. I want to do it. Like, the problems are kind of interesting, but they're kind of... They're, they're, there's no, like, auto grade, okay? There's no beautiful green like Yusuko, so I'm sorry. British in Informatics Olympiad is just inferior to Yusuko in all ways, shapes, and forms, okay? No, seriously, I might try it, but, like, I honestly, I think Yusuko is a bit more satisfying. I, I like how Yusuko is structured a bit more. But if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. I like more puzzles. The more puzzles, the better. Alright, let's do this, boy. Farmer John's cows have recently become fans of playing a simple number game called FizzBuzz, okay? This is a common coding interview thingamajig. The rules of the game are simple. Standing in a circle, they okay. And uh, each cow saying a single number on a turn. If they ever reach a multiple of okay. And if they reach a multiple of 5, they should say buzz. Okay. If a cow reaches a multiple of 15, she should say FizzBuzz instead of that number. Okay. That makes sense. And <laughs> they say moo instead of fizz and buzz and fizz buzz. Oh, so they just, okay, so they're all moo, okay. So they basically want to see what the nth number is, okay. Well, this is a math question. Ah, oh, what? Come on, this is a math question? Alright, well, let's do the math question. Wait, what? nth number. Let's see. Wait, can't you literally just go through the numbers and then eventually you'll reach it? Or could it be over 10 to the 9? Okay, maybe it could get really big, so might as well just do the math. Alright. Okay, so why don't we just figure out the pattern, right? So we got 1, 2, moo, 4, uh, moo, moo, 7, 8, moo, moo, 11, moo, oh my god, so many moos, okay. So, now, basically the idea is, we have 1, 2, this is the third number, this is the fourth number, this is the fifth number, this is the sixth number. Alright, so essentially... Once we get a 4, the reason why it's a 3rd number instead of the 4th number is because we have 1 move before it. So essentially we take this number, and we do 4 minus number of moves before it. And that's just 1, right? So that's why it is going to be a 4th, a 3rd number set. But then for 7, there's 3 moves, so you do 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. Okay, so that's basically the pattern here. So how do we go backwards, right? We want to find the nth number, so we had to find, like, we take 3 and you want to get to 4. So how do we find how many moves are said before the 3rd number? Okay, so n is less than 10 to the 9. So essentially even like a straightforward go through all the n is not going to work, never mind. So that, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, okay, okay, so basically 10 to the 6 is if you do want to do a for loop. But in this case, we probably want to do it somewhat smartly. Now the thing is, it's really easy to find if you're given the number how many moves there are before it, right? Because you just find out how many multiples of 3, how many multiples of 5, and then subtract number, number of multiples of 15, right? Because that's just how principle of inclusion exclusion work but going from three to four is going to be hard i don't know if there's an easy way to do it how do we get the number of moves directly from the threes like okay so i mean we can generally do binary search right because if it's so easy to just like check whether it gives you n right like if you just check okay the four go to okay let's just say like n is equal to like five right we basically just check the four go to uh to five no it goes to three that's too small so we need to move up to like a bigger number, so we'll go to like 7, we'll see that's too small, then we'll eventually go to 8, and then that'll be right, and then we get our answer, that our answer is 8. But is there a way to do it mathematically? That would be epic. I don't think there is though. Is there a way to do it mathematically? I mean, we're gonna do the binary search way, that's just straightforward. <laughs> what? Well, dude, we literally did two binary search problems in a row, very epic. Yeah, okay, I don't think there's any other way to do it, so we're just gonna code up the binary search. So, just to reiterate, right, basically, if you're given a certain number, let's just say it's like, what, what's a good way to say it? Let's just say it's k, right? Let's say k is what we're currently binary searching on, like it's our mid. Then basically we check, does k, if we subtract the number of moves before it, give us n? And if it's too small, right, it gives us like, let's say 3 and our n is 5. Then we put like, oh, our k is too small, so now we got to move up our k. And then if that's too big, then we had to move down our k, and then we keep going until we're finally at n. Basically the way we would go from here to here, we already talked about it, you just subtract the number of moves. And then how do we find the number of moves? It's really just 4 over 3 plus like 4 over 5 minus... 4 over 15. That's the number of moves, right? Because basically, this is the number of multiples of 3, this is the number of multiples of 5, but then you double count the number of multiples of 15, so you gotta subtract the, that out. 
and then you basically have the number moves. So this is what we're gonna do. All right, let us hope we don't make any stupid mistakes. Dude, literally, okay, we're doing it in Python this time, but dude, literally last time, I spent 40 minutes trying to solve that one problem just because <laughs> I spent 20 minutes debugging. Dude, literally, it's so bad, god dang it. Okay, so this one's easy to read in. We just do um, i is equal to in, uh, what are we gonna do? In, uh, input, or we should probably say n, okay. And then uh, the basic idea is we want Okay, so now we need a check function, right? So we're gonna check on our int k, so def check k. So basically the idea is we wanna find if k minus the number of moves before it is equal to n. So essentially, uh, we just check um, return k minus k over over three minus k over five plus k over 15. And that's equal equal to n. All right, so we're checking if the number, uh, we're, we're checking if it's the right number, but okay, now we gotta do our binary search basically. So We'll have our low is equal to like zero, let's say, and then our high is equal to, um, what, what would it be? It would be like pretty big, so why don't we just make like a really big number? Let's put a bunch of zeros. All right, that to what? Oh, that's not how we do it. <laughs> that is not how you do Python. All right, low, high. And then we gotta just do while low is less, or low plus one is less than high, then we basically do if check. Or we'll first want to set mid, right? So mid is equal to low plus high over over two. Okay, and then if check mid, then we want to do. So basically, if our number is oh oh, and then we want to check should be like less than or something, less than or equal to. Okay. So basically, if it's less than or equal to, we want to move our mid up. So we would basically set low is equal to mid, right? And otherwise, we want to set high is equal to mid. And then at the very end, we just print out our low. All right, so let's just test it. Seven, nice, all right. Uh, let's just try, okay, so three should give us four, five should give us eight, and it doesn't give, okay, okay, so hold up, let's see. So six minus two minus one, okay, that gives us three. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, is our formula wrong? Oh, 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 hold up. Oh, because there might be multiple things that, oh, huh. Yeah, because, like, okay, huh. Yeah, because six also works, technically, because six would be here, and then it would use to track all these three moves, and you would still get three. So how do we make it so that you can't do that? We want to do the minimum one. Oh, okay, so we just need to make sure that k is, we just return false if k, wait, no, 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 what? Oh, oh, okay, so, uh, and, well, let's see. So I want to return false if it's equal to n, but, like, Okay, yeah, so the, basically the main case where this doesn't work is if it's equal to n, but it's divisible by 3 or 5. That's a problem. So essentially we want to return false if that is the case, so we'll just make a separate case. If, um, what's, what's the case? If k, uh, divis, div, what, mod 3 is equal to 0, or k mod 5 is equal, equal to 0, and then this and, then we want to return false. Put that is too big, and then this should work. All right, all right, three, four, then uh, five should give us eight. All right, so now let's see if we can simplify this. There must be a faster way to do that. Oh, wait, we don't even know how to do it. We could just do it like take this out, and then we could just do um, while uh, low mod three equal equal zero, or low mod five equal equal zero. Then we could just uh, low minus equal one there. This should work. Three, four, okay, that works, nice. Now we just gotta do our file input output and we should be good. So we do f is equal to open, um, what are we doing? Mubuzz.in. And then right here we just do f.read dot trim, there it is, and then we'll try it out. All right, now we need to do the out. All right, there you go, now it's working. This is the code right here and we should submit. Okay, nice. Why did I call it outgoing Spanish cable? All right. Nice. Bro, I'm so used to clicking C++, I didn't have to click early, god dang it. Okay, let's see if I know how to decode in Python. Oh, we did. We did it, boys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's go. <laughs> nice. All right, well, basically FizzBuzz is a pretty common, like, uh, interview question, so I know a little bit about it, right? Basically, the idea is you want to use the principle of inclusion and exclusion to do stuff. But then the binary search is the interesting part about this question, which is pretty cool. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to do. I like solving random problems. So if you guys have any cool challenges or something you guys want me to do, just let me know. As I said in the last time video, I'm probably going to be focusing on Usico crash courses and biology crash course. Wait, you, uh, no, no. AB biology crash courses and my extracurricular stuff. So. 
Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching again. See you guys next time.